Hey everybody, back with a new episode of Gen V. Last episode left off in kind of a weird way. They were trying to contain Sam and then all of a sudden, Jordan and Marie are waking up in bed together. Um, you know, they did kiss in that episode, so I guess it's not super surprising, but even they seem like maybe they didn't even know what happened. So I'm very curious to get back into it and see what's going on. But you know, Sam went after that doctor. Um, I don't know if he was someone that was experimenting on him in the woods. I, I want to know the backstory there and just what's going on. But other than other than Marie and Jordan, you've also got um, Andre and Kate who were just really clinging to each other after what happened to Luke. Um, but then you've got Emma and Sam having a, a connection of sorts, but like Sam's really needing help right now. So I'm curious about a lot of things where with where we're at right now. This next episode is called Welcome to the Monster Club. We got rid of Tech Knight, thankfully, <laughs> even though it would be great if someone actually came and investigated because some fucked up shit is happening, but they're not looking into what happened to Luke anymore. So I don't think we're dealing with anything with that, but Welcome to the Monster Club makes me think of like, I mean, our group coming together, is that something like they, like a moniker they give themselves, uh, the Monster Club? It, like, I, I don't know, but um, yeah, let's get back into it. You too, same as with Marie and, oh. Oh, oh shit, oh, yeah. I just, sorry, I just thought, is this that, right on, I just thought, but. Leaving. <laughs> uh, hey, hey, hey. Look, this is gonna sound super fucked up and weird, but I don't remember what happened last night. Oh my God, neither do I. Oh. Ooh. All right, I'm ready. Let's go again. I don't wanna know, I don't wanna know. Do a girl solid and took me on my fucking misery. No. Fine. Just find me a place to puke. The world's your oyster. There are days that I am missing. Like, huge gaps in my memory. Where's Sam? Mine too. Oh my god, guys, come check this out. It's getting hot! Of course, her. Oh. <laughs> Did you know you could do that? Get big? Unless it's none of my business, which it's... Not. <laughs> never mind. No, I've known ever since the Buster Beaver incident. How long have you been snogging Jordan? Mm -hmm. I don't even know how to answer that. Is a male asshole tighter than a female asshole? Jesus, Emma. Emma, <laughs> are you okay? Oh. Emma, it's it's me, Sam. Hope the woods the the, the start us driving. You the don't man. know him, Sam. That's your name. And you're, you're, you're Marie. The the blood girl, they made you forget. Y'all all got taken to the woods? There are dangerous, evil people at that school. People that don't want you to know about me or the truth. And you, you can't trust anyone. But we can trust you. I'm going to make you remember. Remember what? That you're a hero. Aww. Did you, uh, did you black out last night? I don't really think that's any of your business, Marie. We all blacked out. And not just the party, the, the past few days. Rufus was here last night. Shit. Would of they utilize Rufus Why? in this way? I sort of blew his dick off. I am this fucking close to perfecting the They're virus. Touching. A viable way to control them for good. But if they discover that, I'm not paying nearly enough to die for this what shit. What the hell are Same they doing? Race. No, that's not what I So why don't you tell me what it is you do want? Because we both know you're not going anywhere. I want the girl. Marie. Her abilities are the rarest I've ever seen. She doesn't no. understand how powerful she really is. She has a benefactor, and because of that, she's strictly off limits. For now. Who's her benefactor? What? I met him in intro psych freshman year. 
He said he liked my gloves. Three days later, I woke up in a random bed with a camera pointed at me. Shit. Should have exploded his head. He saw I was awake, smiled, and said, Make this weird and I'll wipe you again. Holy fucking shit. Where's Andre? Oh shit, Rufus. Yeah. He's got Rufus. Well. I knew it was you. Oh my god, no go. You were Liddy last night. Yeah, no, you got that big soup energy. <laughs> big soup energy. BFE. You don't need to say or do anything. Because that scumbag mind raped us. And we weren't acting like ourselves. Yeah. I hear you. Um, Y'all kissed before all that, though. It's all good. It's cool. We're cool. There's Rufus. What's he doing with Shetty? Ooh, Let's find yeah. out. Wait, 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 wait. I don't trust her. Good, because they're in cahoots. I don't know why, but... Good, I'm glad for whatever reason. I am sure. Good instinct. Get it back. What you do to us, you piece of shit? What were you talking to Shetty about? Um... Oh! Thank you, awesome. Get the fuck oh. out of here! Oh! Oh! Damn it! You can't keep getting away with this! Kind of holding up the line there, dog. Guess you broke the top 100! What are you talking about? The rankings. <laughs> jumped up to 88. Are you fucking serious? Yeah, all these years. My mom's been like, don't get big, it's weird and gross. But now I have like 20 voicemails about doing a giant cricket show. Jordan said, we're cool. What's that supposed to mean? They were just playing it cool. They changed their mind. Themselves. Or they think you did. Did you? I just don't know what it means. It means that you like a person. Who gives a fuck what okay. it means? Hey, I do. I like them. I, I like them. What's wrong? That kid Sam. That weird mm -hmm. kid. He said something about a drive-in. You said you were going to save me. No. I'm, I'm going to save the, the real like Emma, Black not you. You're, you're not... You're not real. Are you like that? <laughs> very creative. I have a single guy with two arms. This is easier to watch this way. Maybe maybe more fucked up, but easier for my eyeballs. He said they made us forget. I mean, it has to be more than Rufus. It has to be the school. Rufus was with Shetty. Mm-hmm. There's blood clotted. Uh-huh. What the fuck is that? Is that what was causing y'all to forget? Or is it like a tracker? Okay, I I I can't hey, slow down. I know how this sounds. But they put trackers inside of us. Right. Sit, sit down. So they are what utilizing are Rufus. Who the fuck is they? To make them forget. Did that sound like so come back? That. No, I don't know. I'm so, so sorry. I really wish it didn't have to be like this. What? It's you. <gasps> Kate! Hey. hey. Look, I know I said earlier that... What the hell happened to you? Unbelievable! I have no idea. That's fucking weird. Look, I... Feel like we've do they have something on her okay. or something? Listen, I know I said that we were cool earlier, but I don't know if that's actually true. I mean, I've been doing a lot of thinking. And Wait, you never said we were cool. Yes, I did before we chased Rufus. Rufus, motherfucker. Wait, I think there's something there. There is, they know something's wrong. And they're gonna keep looking and they're gonna figure it out eventually and I'm just gonna I'm just, I'm just gonna have to keep it. it may be too difficult 
helping people is your gift, Kate. So what I thought Shetty was going for was Marie. She's already been special. doing it with Kate. All I've ever asked is that you try. Use your gift for good no matter how hard it gets. Good. Because you're the only one who can keep your friends safe. She made Luke forget me too. She. She. Hey. What the fuck is this? How the fuck do I know? It was implanted in my fucking neck. This. Please. It's not him. It's Kate. Please, please. Why would you say that? Sam was Rufus' brother. Kate made him forget he even had a brother over and over and over. And look, I know Rufus is not stupid, so is Kate. You know where to run, motherfucker. Ah! Oh, wait, Andre. Stop. It wasn't him. It was Kate. Bullshit. Kate would never do something like that. Andre, don't. Yeah. Oh. I'm so sorry. Here we are. I'm glad they know. You're all lying, and you're all fucking puppets! You wanted what Golden Boy had. I can't lose you. Give them all back their memory. It's like this fucked up hospital or something. Help us in. You can't believe I love you. I put a he certainly did. Okay, well this was quite shocking. I would have never expected this to be Kate. But I'm glad we know and I'm glad they know. For whatever reason, she didn't get to Sam. So Sam was able to let them know. And I, I don't think this is something that Kate is doing because she thinks or she wants to do something bad or wrong. Like we saw her talking to Shetty and she seems like they have a relationship, which what I was thinking was happening between Shetty and Marie, where she's trying to be like a mother figure and so Kate is being manipulated for sure. But like this has been going on a long time. Like ever since like probably ever since like Luke and Kate have been dating like three years, I think. So I would like to know how this all originated and uh what all she's had to do for them. But we saw too the doctor speaking to was it his name Cardoza speaking to Shetty about like some kind of virus that they're crafting to control the soups. I, I feel like this is more like research and development fallout from creating the V in the first place. Um, but experimenting on people who are not willing participants. And uh, I mean, like I said, this is a, a way bigger thing than they could have imagined. And uh, at least, at least Kate gave Andre his memories back. Hopefully sh she can do that for everyone. But um, Emma, I think, wanted to believe Sam. And she found enough evidence to go to him. And he, he told them about everything which I'm glad for, but like seeing that sequence of him just decimating those people, like you see like that dissociative state he gets into. And uh, I, I don't think he would hurt Emma, um, but he does need help. Um, but not from the help of those people at Godolkin. So we'll see what they end up doing with Sam. Cause he seems like a really sweet kid. It's just, this is very unfortunate. Um, at the same time, all this going on, they find out they've got trackers and everything. But like, at the same time, it's just Marie and Jordan trying to figure out how they feel about each other while at the same time dealing with like mind wipes. It sucks, but it's very new for them. And Marie's trying to understand her how she feels because, you know, Jordan presents both as male and female. It's something she's probably not considered before and uh you know I I think she likes them she admitted that but um Jordan had their own hook uh hang-ups about how Marie acted just because it seems like I had noticed like right before they had kissed the first time um 
Jordan switch to like the male presenting form of themselves and uh, knowing that they did that as like, as like assuming that's what Marie would have wanted um, versus Marie just liking Jordan as who they are. Um, they've just got to like talk, talk about some things, but I think Jordan likes, or I think Marie likes all of them. And I hope that they can articulate that to Jordan. And I think they're really cute together. So I like that. And, you know, I don't know if Andre and Kate are going to keep dating after this bombshell. But I think there is more to know about. I think they made it pretty clear that she is being manipulated. And you can tell she does feel bad. Um, but I wonder if she just, like, wisened up to what Shetty has been having her doing or if she just did that so they wouldn't kill Rufus but, uh, because of something that she had done. We'll see, but she's gotta get away from Shetty. And I'm glad that Marie knew, just had some kind of sneaking suspicion that she shouldn't trust Shetty. I mean, that is good on her because that is absolutely correct. But yeah, this is all, it's all like tangled now and like it's very confusing for them getting their mind wrapped at any given moment and uh, it's quite the portrayal to know that it was Kate doing it. But now they have to go from here and what does that look like? How do they bring Sam in? In a way that's safe for them and him while dealing with this fucking institution that is out to get them. I don't know, but this is wild shit. And you can just imagine like the soups that had gone to that university, whether it was like A-Train or The Deep, like they probably had this shit happening to them too. No one really stands a fucking chance. So wild, but I hope these kids can bust it open and, um, uh, bring some things to light and save themselves. So we'll see. This was a very interesting episode. I, I'm very shocked by the Kate reveal, but I hope to know more about it. So we'll see. But yeah, this was good. So thanks for watching guys. I'll be back soon.